Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about disabling the Windows Recall feature, which is a feature on newer Windows computers, so Copilot Plus PCs, that act as a sort of photographic memory by taking snapshots of your screen periodically, which would allow you to search for specific content you've seen on your computer using natural language or speech. While Copilot, you might be familiar with, is the overall AI assistant that has largely replaced Cortana in newer versions of Windows 11, you still have the new feature of Recall, which provides an interface to interact more with these features or tools. It's basically all AI driven. However, obviously this raises some security questions about telemetry and data tracking if you're having applications take screenshots of what you're doing on your computer. If you want to disable that, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn off Windows Recall if your computer supports it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in Windows Features, best results, you'll come back with Turn Windows Features On or Off. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand underneath the section that says Print and Document Services right here. Swap the plus sign next to that. And now there would be an option here that says Recall. You would uncheck that option and then select OK, and then you would need to restart your computer for the change to take effect. So please note that if you do not see a recall entry in here, it means your computer does not support recall. Most computers at the time of this recording do not. So I believe if it was purchased after June 18th of 2024, it will likely have Windows recall. If it was purchased before June 18th, it will not have recall. You can also check by just searching in the search menu for recall in here and seeing if it shows up. And there's other ways to turn on and off Windows Recall. And if you don't see that following any of those other guides, it means you just don't have it on your computer. It doesn't support it. And personally, I wouldn't want it on my computer anyway. So once you're done, like I said, if you did have an option here for recall, you would uncheck that, select OK. You would need to restart your computer. And that'd be about it. So pretty straightforward process, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.